Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. So, what I wanna talk about today is, okay, I see lately, there are a lot of guys upset for women who, um, you know, don't pay them any attention, don't show them very much interest, ignore them, like if they agree to go out on a date with them, they're on their cell phone or texting other people or taking phone calls. And a lot of these men are getting offended and a lot of these guys are like, you know, um, mad and upset because women are not catering to them and giving them all their attention, even though, you know, they're either on a date or friends or just in a conversation. These women are distracted. Now, I know like when when a woman really likes a guy, she's not going to be looking at other things. She's not going to be on her phone all the time. She's not going to be talking to other people. She's not going to be ignoring him or paying more attention to the conversation at the next table. She's not going to be, you know, not listening to the words that's, you know, coming out of his mouth. She's going to be totally into him, hanging on to every word, trying to impress him as well as letting him impress her. If a woman is not doing this from the start, you know, you shouldn't even be asking her out. If she doesn't pay you any attention, wherever you are, if she doesn't, you know, if she's not genuinely inter interested in you as a person and you still pursue her to ask her out, she's going to be the same way afterwards because if she's not into you, she's just not into you, you know? Uh, if you're not her type, if you don't have enough money, if you don't look a certain way, if you this, if you're that, and you keep nagging her and begging her and being thirsty over her, she's going to be like, you know what? I am hungry today. Maybe I want to go to lunch. You know, this guy's been bugging me for months. I'll do him a favor and accept his 53rd attempt to ask me out. Okay. This is how women think. Uh, we're not trying to, a lot of women aren't trying to use men. Men just um, are so persistent and they don't understand that certain women don't want to go out with them. And so, even though the chase is fun for the guy, they get the woman out on the date and, you know, they might even pay, you know, because, you know, they've been trying so long. So they pay and they're like, uh, so, uh, you know, and the woman's totally distracted. She's like, okay, that food was good. What's the name of this place again? So I can come back with my friends, you know, fixing their lipstick. Um, yeah, that was really good. Thank you for taking me to lunch. And she's just like all distracted. She's like, mm -hmm. I can't wait to bring, uh, my friend or my sister here are, you know, this is a really nice place for a real date. You know, they're thinking in their mind this because you have pursued them so long after you know that they don't really want to go out with you. And finally, you know, you got them at a weak moment, at a hungry moment, at a bored moment, and they decide to take you up on your offer. And plus, felt as though they were doing a good deed by going out with you because a lot of men will say, oh, well, men, women are entitled. Women feel like they're all this and they're the prize. And we are the prize. And if, if a man is constantly after someone who's not really interested in them and they're constantly up in their inbox and they're constantly up in their face and they're constantly saying, well, we should go out sometime just as friends, as friends. You know, they try to throw in the friends thing so you don't think it's a date. But then when you go out as friends and then you end up being uh ignored and dissed and you know uh such and such like that you can't be mad because that woman did not you know tell you in any type of way that she was interested in you okay she thinks she's doing you a favor i mean uh it's like it's a pity date you know a lot of women go out on pity dates uh, and, and a lot of guys mistake these pity dates as women using them and then they get offended. No, that was a pity date, okay? A woman can go out, uh, I, a lot of women can go out and just go find anybody to take them to lunch. I mean, um, it's very easy, you know? <laughs> even, if the per even if they're not interested in the person, they have contacts in their phone right now where they can just call up some random person and say, hey, you wanna go to lunch? And that person will take them out to lunch. It's not, it's not, you know, 
rocket science. It, women have too many options. And I'm not saying this to be conceited, because I know men have lots of options too. Um, but the type of women that the men want are their op The type of women that the men really want don't really want them. And then the type of women who offer men, you know, all of them, those men don't want them. You know, they might use them up every now and then and, and you know, don't call them for weeks and then try to pursue the woman that doesn't even want them. They might do that. But they, they bypass the women who will give them the time of the day, who will appreciate a date, a lunch, who would want to be asked out. They pass those women up daily. They don't even see them. But they're so busy trying to date the women who don't even want them. And then they're going to get mad when they're dissed. And then they go on this rage about, I'm not paying for any more dates. I'm not paying for any more dates because women are using. No, you just try to date out of your league. Tone it down a notch. Like if you went for a nine or an eight or a seven, try to go for a four. You might have better luck. And I'm not trying to be rude. I mean, a lot of people get offended when they hear the truth, you know, because no one says it anymore. And that's the truth. You can't, if you don't make enough money, if you're broke, if you look this sort of way, if you're short, if you're this, if you're that, and you're trying to go after a woman who looks uh, decent enough to marry somebody um, that's not all of those things, the opposite of those things, and you get mad at her, that doesn't make any sense. You can't get mad at somebody because they don't want you. You can't get mad at somebody because they're out of your league. You can't get mad at somebody because they don't want to give you the time of day because they feel like, you know, they can do better than you. You can't be mad at that. You either have to go out and do better or you have to date women in your own league. That's just, that's just common sense. You got too many people watching TV, seeing all these women on TV and uh, look a certain way. And the men all think these are the type of women they're supposed to have. But you got to have a certain lifestyle to have those type of women. Okay. A lot of men are like going to Brazil so they can get the type of women that look the part of the type of women they see on TV that they think they're supposed to have. And they spend all their little money on a plane ticket, take their little vacation from their, from their little job. Then they go down there and they just meet a Brazilian prostitute because, you know, it is legal in Brazil, prostitution. And they feel like the man. You know, they feel like, oh, I, I got me one. But then reality sets in. They got to get back on that plane, come back here, and be a loser in their own country again. You know, um, and... I really wouldn't call them a loser. I would just say they, they'll they be in their own country again and they're not going to be able to get the type of women that they see on, on TV or in videos. They're going to get the type of women who are in their league, you know? And just like women, we see all these guys on TV, these ballers, these rappers, these uh, sports athletes, and we think that's what men are supposed to be. You know, we, th we think all men are supposed to cater to their woman, pay for everything, this, 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 and that. And <clears throat> uh, lavish them with gifts. And we, we see that on the media. So that's what we want too. So if you're coming at us thinking you can have us for free and we're looking at you like, where is your money? Where is your uh, status? You can't be mad at us for doing the same exact things y'all are doing to us. You can't be mad for having higher expectations and higher standards for women out of your league. You can't be mad at us for having higher expectations and wanting men to have money. You can't because you're doing the exact same thing. You're not out there looking for the woman who is, uh, you know, very super plain, not very attractive, uh, you know, doesn't get a second look. You're not looking for her. You're looking for someone who is attractive, who looks good, who looks like the women you see on TV, who looks at least close to it. Um, you're not looking for the ones that are looking for you. So you can't be mad. And the thing about women, the difference between women and men is that women can get a man with money because they have skills, they have brain power, they have games. They know how men think. 
They know what leads men. They know men think with their penis. So, and plus, we a lot of women, they sh they might wake up looking crazy. But once they spend about an hour in the bathroom, in the mirror, with wigs, weave, makeup, uh, what do you call that? Body censures, clothes, perfume, nails. They look like a totally different person. And they can get the attention of the man with money. Okay? But you, you can't do that. Men can't do that. They can't go and, and fake a bank account. They can't go and get a fake bank statement out of their bank and uh, get some, uh, they might can go get a payday loan to a fake ball out, or they might can go and get their tax return and be, um, you know, up there for a second. But, it, you know, if it's not real, it's not going to last. And most men already know that women wear makeup. And most men already know a lot of women wear hair pieces, wigs, weaves, whatever. And most women know, I mean, most men know that they wear fake nails. Most men know this, okay? They just hope that when they take the makeup off, they look at least close to what they look like with the makeup on. <laughs> this is just how it's always been. Women have always done this, so... It's easy to be accepted, you know, as long as you look good in public, it's a status, uh, it's a status for a man to have a, an attractive woman. If all, if all his friends like her and think she's pretty, if his mom and family likes her and, and if she's going to make pretty children, that's what men look for. Men don't look for women to have, you know, all this money and stuff. Women look for men for that. Okay. And if you don't re if you don't meet the standards of women, of course you're going to be upset, you know? But you're only upset at yourself because you settled for your mediocrity. You got to go and do better. You know, you got to go do better. If I were a man, I would I wouldn't even try to date or talk to a woman until I had my whole entire life together. Yeah, I might have friends. I might have friends with benefits, but I'm not going to try to date or seriously be in a relationship with someone that I know I'm the man and I'm supposed to be doing this and that. I wouldn't even bother wasting her time. And if I saw a woman that was totally out of my league and out of my price range, yes, I said price range. Because, you know, certain women like certain things, you know. You see this woman, you know she's going to want to go to a nice restaurant, drink nice wine. She wants nice gifts. You you know this type of woman, okay. You, you'll see a woman that you will take you any type of way and let you take her to a, through a drive through But you don't want that type of woman. You want this woman. And then you're mad when she doesn't call you back. Or does it bother with you after the first date? Because you weren't her type. You were out of her league. She felt like she was doing you a favor. Okay? So, I know this is arrogant, rude, but it's the truth. Y'all have to know this. There are plenty of women going out on pity dates. And y'all think y'all are being used. But it's really pity. Uh, when I was young, I used to do pity dates with guys. And then I was like, you know what? I feel guilty because I know they're tapping into their rent money to pay for this meal. So I'm not even going to go on pity dates anymore. Y'all need to date in your own range. Bye. I'm out. You know. So that's just the honest truth. And if you can't deal with that, then you shouldn't be dating. Or you shouldn't be trying to date certain type of women. And I know I'm older now. But when I was young and in my prime, psh, <laughs> you know, I was, I was something to be reckoned with. Okay. It was very, believe me. Ah, uh, something to be reckoned with. And I wasn't conceited back then. I really wasn't. I was very shy, actually. And that's probably what the turn on was. It's like, you know, I was, I was, I still believed in true love. And, oh, I'm going to marry the Prince Charming. Oh, you, uh, yeah, I, I was like that. But I wised up quickly and I understood lots of things, um, that most young girls don't understand. Um. But, men, if you are looking for someone who is attractive and who will date you with no, you know, need for you to be a baller, go for younger women. You got to go for the younger women because they they still believe in love and that you'll do the right thing and that um, <clears throat> you're not going to break their heart and all that stuff. They, they believe in that still. Young ones, okay? So that's my advice. If you if you can't find a woman your own age to date or to deal with you, go for a younger woman who still has trust, faith, and, uh, you know, a little bit gullible. Because those are the only ones that are going to fall for y'all. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'll see y'all later. Bye.